What's up guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic Allow. We're bringing to you Fast Electronic and of course Allow. We're doing a little more of this continued benchmark testing. I know the saga lives on. Make sure you uh, check us out below in the description there. We got links to other videos as well as other places you can find us to see those videos if you like. Check out our website, what have you. So let's get into it. What you're actually seeing here is the new iPad Air, the new iPad Mini with Retina, the new iPhone 5S, and the latest iPod Touch 5th generation. So the reason for this test, this, this is everything Apple has available on the mobile platform, excluding, you know, laptops. So basically, if it's the big iPad, the small iPad, the iPhone, or the iPod, this is the newest of each one of those released. So we have the newest iPad, the newest iPad mini, iPhone 5S, iPod Touch. So this is actually a 32 gig silver iPad Air. This is a 16 gig silver iPad mini with retina. This is a 32 gig space gray iPhone 5S. And this is the Slate iPod Touch 5th generation. So the benchmark testing we're going to do, and you might have seen our other videos already on some benchmark, we're going to run Geekbench across all of these. So for Apple's current latest of each one of their items you can get, we'll see how they stack up against one another. So we ran some tests in a previous video, so the scores you see that may pop up are gonna be from a previous one. So we'll go ahead and drop the menu on each one of these devices here and prepare for our test here. So you can see here, like we said, iPad Air, iPad Mini with Retina, iPhone 5S, iPod Touch 5th generation. So we'll go ahead and start them across the board. Run processor benchmark. One, two, three, and four. So these three devices all feature the same new A7, the same processor, same guts. This iPod Touch does not have the same as this, but this is the latest release from Apple. This is the iPod Touch 5th gen, so we shall see which one finishes first. And if you like, check out all our other videos on speed tests. We've done some with the iPad Air versus some old iPads. So you guys can check that out if you want. Go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, it helps us out, leave us a comment, maybe add this video to your favorites. Someone might actually want to see some of these testings. So we can see here, uh, real quickly, still 36 seconds in on the iPod Touch 5th gen, it looks about halfway through, uh, but that's to be expected there. It doesn't have the same processor as the other devices to its left. So let's run over these scores here, single core on the iPad Air 1482, single core on the Mini 1396. 1416 on the iPhone 5S. Jumping over to multi core, 2698 on the iPad Air, 2529 on the iPad Mini with Retina, and 2571 on the iPhone 5S. So you can actually see the 5S has scored higher than the Mini with Retina. And if you saw our other video, we did a speed test with just these three devices, and the iPhone 5S actually beat the Mini with Retina again. I expected the Retina to beat the 5S due to maybe a larger battery here, but two tests now showed just Geekbench. Uh, each score, the 5S was actually higher than the Mini with Retina. However, neither of the two can compare to the iPad Air as it did have the highest scores. Now granted, all of these have the same processor, and for what you're doing, you may or may not notice any speed because these are just Geekbench scores. This is using Geekbench 3 app. It's available from the App Store. Uh, you can download that and see for yourself, see how your app stacks up. So with a minute and 56 seconds, guys, yes, the iPod Touch 5th generation is still patiently waiting for that score. So like we said in wrap-up, uh, all of these devices are great depending on your needs. You know, some may not need an iPad Air. Some may decide to do the Mini with Retina, and I can tell you, if you've seen an iPad Mini before and not seen the Retina, and you liked it, wow, you're really going to like the Retina because you're actually going to have a very crisp resolution. Uh, you may have been squinting before, or the text just didn't look clear to you. Uh, maybe visit your Apple Store, go online, or maybe a friend has one. Take a look at the new iPad Mini. Uh, with Retina display. It was released kind of discreetly yesterday, uh, November 12th by Apple. They didn't tell anybody. They just kind of put it on the website and the store started receiving inventory. Uh, we were actually able to get our hands on one first thing this morning. Uh, we attempted last night, but there was some issue with getting them on or off the truck. I'm not sure. 
So here as we wait almost the third minute of the Geekbench 3 test and this poor iPod Touch 5th generation is just sitting here patiently waiting to give us a score. And we're at 3 minutes 8 seconds and that is the actual score. Uh, I didn't expect too much performance or power however did expect some power so you can see there single core score a 218 and the multi-core multi score a 418 so I would probably reckon to see Apple doing something with the iPod Touch 5th gen if they see more of their users starting to do more things like they're doing across the iPhone or iPad you know that's all on marketing statistics there so this only has you know if you guys didn't know the iPod Touch fifth generation has the just the A5 processor in it so that's a one processor two core all these other devices you know has got that new processor in it so this is the A5 obviously these are all the A7 but nonetheless I just wanted you guys to be able to see this is kind of the cool benchmark 3 test you know benchmark you can do with using Geekbench 3 of the latest devices Apple has in that lineup so this like I said is the latest iPod they have the latest iPhone, which is the 5S they have, the latest iPad, which is iPad Mini with Retina, and of course the latest iPad Air. So you guys can see for yourself which one's a performer, which one you might want to go to. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and give us a like, add it to your favorites, leave us a comment. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, do the right thing. It helps us out. We appreciate it. And this is Ryan. And of course, this was all of this brought to you by Fast Electronic and Loud, where we do bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course loud. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.